The ZWO ASI 1600. Love it or hate it, it brought upon us the new age of inexpensive backyard astrophotography. Before the ASI 1600 came out, astrophotography was unfortunately on its way out. Even Google Trends say it. It was declining, mostly because of a... <laughs> aging population. <laughs> but then, a company out of China seeked to change that. It was little known at the time, and it was called ZWO. By this point, you probably might have heard of them. Obviously, there were plenty of astro camera companies, but ZWO was different. They used CMOS sensors. CCD was the traditional type of sensor for astro imaging. It was slow, but it got the job done with low relative noise, and it was great for astrophotography. It had been used pretty much universally in every single sensor used for astrophotography, including older DSLRs. CMOS, on the other hand, the sensors that ZWO introduced to us are the new and improved sensors. These are the sensors found in, say, smartphones and newer DSLRs that absolutely smoke CCDs in terms of sensitivity, and as you can guess, these are what the community was eyeing up for a long time, up until ZWO actually stepped in. And in 2016, they released the first ASI 1600 mono-cooled camera. The specs on this camera were frankly unbelievable for the price. Around $1,000 for the camera, which used the incredible Panasonic MN34-230, with a whopping 60% quantum efficiency. Quantum efficiency is the amount of photons getting turned into electrons. CCDs were far less sensitive, but the ZWO converted 60% of those photons into electrons. This camera became a revolutionary tool for astrophotographers worldwide. And now, of course, there were naysayers, especially die-hard CCD fans. But doubts were very quickly squashed when the first images began rolling in. It was unlike anything you had seen, one-minute exposures being all you needed, producing incredible low-noise images thanks to the incredibly high efficiency of the camera sensor. This is where a paradigm shift occurred in astrophotography, in my opinion, where it suddenly became possible to take incredible photos with less than ideal equipment, utilizing heaps and heaps of short exposures, such as one minute or even 30 seconds. At the same time, it became easier to take excellent monochrome images with various filters, as the sensor was incredibly sensitive and you could cut down your exposure times by a lot. All these factors together create an incredible camera for the amateur. And again, only at the amazing price of 1,000 US dollars. I come into the picture in about 2018, where I grabbed my first Astro camera, which was the ASI 1600 MMC, or mono-cooled. And honestly, I just can't fault it. This is a monster camera. Lately, I've been pairing it with an F2 lens to suck up endless amounts of photons in the southern sky. And amazingly, its reliability is incredible. Two years and it hasn't skipped a beat. It's really just been the same camera as it was two years ago. But really, the greatest thing about the ASA 1600 is it's just an absolute ripper of a camera. With nearly any situation, any scope, it will produce incredible data for you to process. And because this camera is so popular, it's garnered a huge community. Thanks to that, you can get support nearly instantly worldwide. And to be completely honest, if you are fine with the Micro Four Thirds sensor, which is slightly smaller than your average DSLR sensor, then this is definitely the best camera in its range. There is literally nothing to upgrade to. It'll probably reign supreme overall for the next foreseeable future. And now, here are some pictures I've taken with this camera.
thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel Australian Astronomy. See ya!